Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 9.4, Direct Joint and Inverse Variation. Relatively short lesson. Some formulas from science. For those who haven't seen them, this is velocity. This is distance. And this is time. And we have a couple variations in this, so technically it should be a joint variation. Joint variation means more than one variation. So distance varies directly with velocity. Meaning, longer the distance, assuming the time doesn't change, higher the velocity. If you do a longer distance in the same amount of time, you're going faster. Time varies inversely, and I have a horrible habit of saying indirectly, inversely with velocity. Meaning, assuming the distance doesn't change, if I take a longer amount of time, my velocity goes down. If I take a shorter, smaller amount of time, my velocity goes up. We call that an inverse variation. Together, we call it joint variation. Now, velocity is an interesting formula in that it's just straight distance over time by definition. Weight is a little bit more what we find as we go along. This is mass. This is weight. Well, it turns out that weight varies depending on the planet you're on. So this is a gravitational constant. On Earth, it's 9.8 meters per second squared. You don't need to know that, but the point is, it changes depending on what planet you're on. On Jupiter, it could be 32. On the moon, it could be 5. I don't know those numbers for sure, but they're close. So the second formula has what we call a constant of variation. It's G. And when you're given data, you need to figure that out. Maybe 1, in which case, technically, there isn't 1. But you got to go figure it out. So y varies directly as x. So we write y equals k times x. And then we're given some data. Negative 20 equals k, we don't know k, times 2. Do some math, which I will not do again. You should be able to do this on the fly by this point. We say k equals negative 10. And then we test it. We say, well, what does y equal when x equals 4? y equals negative 40. That's really it. We've got a couple of problems here. Got a couple of problems here. We can say y varies inversely as z. So we write it as y equals k over z. Figure it out from there. 24 equals k over 3. k equals 72. So what is y equal when z equals negative 4? 72 over negative 4. y equals negative 18. And a jointly could mean a direct and an inverse, but unless it specifies, it's just multiplying them out. So 12 equals k times negative 3 times 1 k equals negative 4. Find y 
when x equals 5 and z equals 7, y equals negative 140. That's it. Go do some problems. Good luck.